Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be learning how to cut out hair in Photoshop by using a few simple tools. Let's get straight into it. So, first thing you want to do is select your images. I usually tend to try and use something with a white background because it makes it easier to cut out. Uh, and a lot of hair is sometimes a massive problem for designers. But Photoshop have added in some tools lately which can really enhance how your images look when they have cut out. So I'm going to show you them today. So first, what you're going to do is unlock your background, which is the image. Second, you're going to want to go down here to the adjustment layers, create a solid color. So what you want to do now is create something which is quite quite vibrant, quite easy to see. I'm going to take orange and I'm going to put it below my layer. Yes, you can't see it yet, but don't worry about that. Then you're going to want to select your hair layer and then you're going to want to go to the object, object selection tool, which is up on the left. Once you've got this, you can just go over the top of the image with the hair or the area with the hair and it will select it for you. Now, as you're going to see, it's very flaky and it doesn't actually get a lot of the stuff because it's very hard for Photoshop to cut out the hair. So now what you're going to do is go to your lasso tool, which is next to it, and you're going to want to hold Alt to minor stuff and you can just go around cutting bits out. It doesn't have to be final because we're going to go over that later, but you can cut bits that it's selected out which you don't want and then just makes it a lot easier. I'm going to speed this process up just so you don't have to wait and watch for it. Right, as you can see, it's not the best selection, but I've tried my best to get into the little bits and be able to cut out some fat chunks of uh, background which we don't need. I'm gonna go down to my layer mask option now, which is next to the adjustment layers. Click that. As you can see, we have got the bulk of our cutout, but there are lots of white bits from the background which look terrible and make the hair not look realistic. Next, we're gonna double click on the layer mask on the right and we're gonna be presented with our layer mask options. What you wanna gonna do is go down from the top tool to the refine edge brush tool. Click that, make it a decent size, which to do that you need square brackets on the right to enlarge and then you just start going around the edge pulling away at the background. As you can see, that already looks better. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Just go around the edges, pull in strands of hair back in, which you need to get. Just keep going around. It's not gonna look perfect, because it's pretty much impossible to get that in Photoshop, but already, you've got a bit of hair back there. Just keep going around. I'm gonna speed this up again, so you don't have to watch it. This is the overall trick. There we go. As you can see, I've cut out pretty much most of the hair. Obviously there are strands that are gone and you can't see anymore, but that's gonna happen with this tool. It's in development, so it's not perfect, but it's pretty accurate for what you need. Now I've picked an image with a bit of blur on the camera lens, so some of the hair looks a bit, bit off, but this is the best that you can do with this type of software. So if I click OK, there we go, we've got the hair cut out. Without the background, it looks really good and cut out now. Now if we place that on an image, probably not this background because it doesn't look great, but if we put that in an image like a collage or something, it would look great because this is what this tool is for and it's all about. So realistically, that's as good as you're gonna get, but if you practice with it, obviously you'll get better and there'll be less of this blur on the edges because you'll have 
refined it better and that helps with time and practice and keep if you keep doing it you'll get better that's it for the first image I'm gonna move on to the next one now so once again we have quite a hard image to cut out here I'm gonna use my object selection tool up the top and I'm gonna highlight over the area pick up all the hair once I've got all the hair I'm gonna to go to my lasso tool and cut out a few bits which I don't think should be there and then we're gonna go all the way to the layer mask again and by doing this we'll be able to make a really accurate cutout of the hair I think the main thing to remember here is you're not going to get a perfect cut pretty much ever unless it's like quite an easy object to cut out because hair is one of the hardest things to cut out in for a computer because there's so many different strands little bits going on it makes it very hard to follow the path for the computer but this is the best tool uh, around for you for, to be able to do it um, so I've got rid of all the gaps and now I'm going to click layer mask in the bottom right got that and I'm going to create my solid color again um, just so I can have that background to judge it off I'll put it behind it see lots of white still there now I'm going to double click on the layer mask and once I've done this I'm going to just scrub away pretty much if you do this you get a lot better um, cutouts and you keep the color of the image by doing this I am able to cut out each individual strand get rid of all the white yes it's not gonna look perfect as I keep saying but it's the best you can do with a bad situation basically what I'm trying to say is don't use pictures with a lot of hair in and it will save you a lot of time and effort and trouble to cut them out um, this will look good though in a collage or just in a piece of work that you add a layer on top um, there's all little tips and tricks to make it look neat uh, and change the contrast to make it look a bit darker so you can't see the, the color correction that you uh, have made because when you are doing this you are obviously cutting away at bits of the color because um, it's not a complete image anymore you're being destructive you're using a destructive tool um, but the thing is it's the only way to do it um, I think personally that by doing this not a bad way of doing it but I think they could I, I'm pretty sure they could make a better way because it does ruin the color in images bit so if I just enlarge this a bit make it speed it up just for the video's sake and go down there bring the strands back in like that it sometimes it'll look different on different images because it depends on the image you're using and how the image has been taken with blurs it tends to make the image look a bit rubbish to be honest because it sort of ruins the color correction but if you're using an image which is quite focused on the one person and the hair it's not blurred then it will look really good so I've cut the hair out now I'm gonna click OK and there we have it we've got the hair cut out this one looks a bit cleaner once again I've got the hair cut out yes the colors a bit off but I'm sure by adding adjustment layers you will be able to manipulate that so it still looks good or if you are using it in a colors you could just cut the hair out off the person and add it to another character it depends what you want to do with it but there are many different options you can do and cutting out hair is one of the hardest things to do on a computer program but this is the best way to do it and it's really easy to learn this is all for this video guys but I hope you enjoyed it and I'd like it if you could leave a comment let me know how you found it thank you so much for watching give it a like subscribe I'll see you next time